Hi everyone, welcome back to Adventure 365, the channel that's going places. On today's episode, we are going to be fitting awnings. Uh, Beryl's getting a, a two meter awning on this side and she's getting a shower tent slash toilet tent on the other side. So uh, they're over there in the boxes. We'll get them quickly unboxed and we'll have a quick look before we start fitting. So we've got a couple of uh, direct 4x4 awnings here. Uh, like I say, one's a shower tent, slash toilet tent, and the other one is a 2 meter by 2 meter awning. And I think the, well, it actually says here, they're both in green and black. Don't just hate unboxing videos. Uh, this is the same shower tent uh, that's on Heimdall and we found these to be really good and really difficult to get out of the box. We'll have a close look at these once, once we get them out of the box. But they're, they're pretty good. They're, uh, well, we've had no problem with the one that we've got on the other truck. So there's one. A bag of stuff, that will be the fitting brackets and some pegs from memory. You didn't see that. I've never used one of these direct 4x4 awnings. So uh, this will be a new one to me. You know what, that doesn't look that horrendous. And same again, that will have a, a bunch of brackets in it and some pegs. Go on. Right, we've just got the awning up on the side. We've just offered it up. We know roughly where it's going to go. Let's go through the fitting first and then I'll give you a close look at the awning. Now, because Beryl hasn't got a roof rack, I'm going to mount the awning onto this top hat rail. Now I'm going to cut a piece of this and because it's top hat I can bolt the awning from the back so onto the face of this and then bolt this to the side of the truck and put some reinforcing plates on the inside because these panels are not that thick they're only like just over a mil, mil and a half thick. I don't even think they're a mil and a half, I think they're like 1.3 mil thick. So I want to put this in and then put a spreader plate on the inside because you imagine the weight of the awning vibrating. It's going to, it's going to fatigue the panel. So the top part, that will spread the weight on the outside and then a spreader on the inside will hold the load. But that's how, that's how I'm going to mount it. But I'm rather impressed with this awning. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, the fabric's really nice. It's not that cheapy nylon stuff that you get on some of the awnings. Uh, yeah, that real plasticky nylon-y stuff. This is like a, almost like a cloth. Uh, it's really nice. And I am sort of really impressed. Let's get the camera in close and we'll have a look. The camera doesn't do this justice. Um, just how nice this material is. When we get on, I'll get it out and we'll have a proper look at it, but the ends are nicely stitched. Uh, where the awning uh, poles go, they're reinforced, the pockets are. So, for just over 200 quid, I think this is about 250 quid. I'm kind of impressed with that. So let's get it fitted. 
I brought a handy assistant, namely Karen. She pushed you off the step. Sorry. Right, the awning's going just over the top of the window, about there. Otherwise, we can't reach it. That's the problem. Because we could put it up there, but we're never going to reach it, and the legs aren't going to be long enough. So it's okay. just going to cover the top of the window. From the inside, that actually is fine because when you're standing inside, you're looking down. So you don't actually see this on the inside. So that's going there, and then it's going to stand off about that far because of the uh, top hat we're using. I think that'll look fine. But anyway, that's where it's going. <laughs> that's what it's getting. <laughs> I've cut a couple of these standoffs out of that top hat, so they're going to go on the body. And I've just marked them up one, two, three, four holes in each side that's going to bolt onto the, the side of the truck. And to mark up for the awning, I've taken the awning bracket that comes with it, which is handy because it's got all the holes drilled in, and just marked it all up. Actually, that way. It even says top on it now for me. So they're just marked up like that. There you go. So I've drilled that. I know the awning will bolt to this and we'll line this up on the body, drill through. I still think I'm going to have to make a spreader plate on the inside. In fact, I know I will. The body's not going to be strong enough, but that's going to spread the load really well on the panel. So uh, let's drill this and uh, then drill some holes in my truck. We've started to mark up the side of the truck where the uh, awning's going to go. Now, it's a bit hard to work it out from all the markings we've got on there, but the top line, and I don't know if you can see that, let me get up here without falling. Oh, Karen's passing me a piece, there you go. That's going on like that. The awning's going through the middle. She had to put she had to put her hand in then. <laughs> uh, just she waved at you, there you go. Yeah, so that's going like that. So it's still gonna be fairly flush on the side of the truck. And then we'll do the same down the other end. And literally this one's done. This uh, I've already cut a bracer to go on the inside. I'll show you that when it all goes together. But uh, yeah, for some quick homemade brackets, I think that works. The point of now going back, I'm now going to put more holes. Oh, I don't think there's a hole there, so we can always repair holes.
No going back now. Any four of those bolts, please, Karen. Look at me, all the holes line up. That one will wind in, it's just a bit tight, but it'll go in. Yeah. Do it again, we haven't ruined anything yet. No. Right, lift this up. I uh, need a marker pen as well. Put that behind me. And I'll put it in my pocket because I'll drop it over there. <laughs> right, let me put this one in first. Let's swap sides. Yeah. Come here then. Let's have a look. It's alright. Yeah, I'll stay there. That's perfect. Oh. Just sits off the window nicely. Oh, yeah. I'll see if I can reach. Easy. Don't do that. It's not fastened on. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Not yet finished, but it uh, fits perfectly above the window. That gap is absolutely spot on. I actually thought it would cover more of the window than it does, and it doesn't cover any. That's perfect. That's come out better than I thought it would. Right, I'll go on the inside and do the sandwich plates. So you just have to, you want that? Yeah. We'll put, I'll put the sandwich plates on. Um, I think I will put some PU adhesive behind them as well. Right. Just to glue them in place. Mm -hmm. right, it's a bit dark in here guys. And I haven't got a light with me. So, get the glare off the window. There's one of the spreader plates I've put in on the inside. That'll just spread the load across the panel. Uh, what I'm actually thinking of doing is actually making either a bracer that goes from those two bolts up to either that one or down to that one, just so it spreads the, any movement backwards and forwards into one of these bracer bars. But I can sort that uh, once that PU adhesive's gone off. So they're in, and I'm now starting on the other one. Okay, we can't help ourselves, we've got to have a look. Yep, that is as far as that goes. Oh, okay. That fabric's really nice. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Legs. There's the poles and the arms. Yeah. Legs are in there. Right, let's roll it back up because we can't open it any further. Yeah. That is really nice. That. I wasn't expecting the canvas to be that quality. No. Now I'm going to do exactly the same as I've done on the other side. Uh, I'm going to cut some top out. I wanted to bolt it on flush, but I can't and won't be able to make it seal. Uh, so the bolts would leak. So I'm going to put the top hat in. This 
uh, mark here is where my zip needs to be. It's going to be 76 inches, it's the same height as the one on the other truck, which will be great because um, we don't have an issue with that. We can roll it up, tuck it in, close the bag, so there. So one, one bread of top hat's going to go there, and the other one's going to go there. And then the, the, the tent will actually sit just slightly offset to about here. And that's another job done. It's that time again. The no going back time. It here looks level as well. Does it? Yeah. I just uh, tight. And now I've got it. Oh. It's there. Which one do you want me to do? Uh, whichever one's the most difficult. Do the difficult one first. Okay. This one's on, so we've got them all together. And I tell you what, it's really cool. Shower tent, absolutely brilliant. Let me move, reposition the camera and I'll set it up. Now, you've seen how it just drops out of the bag. And we've got just two arms. And they just lock into place. That's it. It's actually a lot easier to do outside when you're sort of not in a confined space. We find these awesome. Like I say, got one of these on Heimdall. Karen loves it. It's just a great bit of kit. I'm just trying to think how much they're like 200, just over 200 quid. This, uh, it's a fantastic piece of kit and they're well made. I like it and it looks brilliant on this. We'll have a quick look at the other one. Uh, on certain thoughts, I'm not going to get this out on my own because I'm not going to be able to roll it back up. But I showed you earlier on in the video what it actually looked like. The quality of that is amazing. Uh, for what they actually cost, I'm really impressed. So if anyone asks me, what do you think of the Direct 4x4 awnings? Um, looking at the quality of that, I'm really impressed. Maybe in 12 months time? Mm, don't know. But uh, first initial look, really impressed. So, uh, Beryl's got her awnings. That's it, we're well on the way now. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this video guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.